From start to finish, I only get eight weeks with each litter of puppies. Time is so precious and it flies by, especially when we have more than one litter. There is so much to do with each one. Everyone is doing something unique, like Annie's puppies. They just graduated to the garage nursery. They are halfway to leaving our home. But I got to meet all the families this weekend and I can tell you they are going to be well loved. Annie's puppy picking was on Saturday and we had five out of six families come in person. It was such a wonderful morning filled with smiles and a lot of laughter. I was so excited to hear everyone's stories about their past dogs and how far they drove. I had one family come all the way from Texas. Talk about commitment, that is one long drive. Each person got their first or second choice. I just love it when that happens. And our guardian program got this beautiful puppy added. Pink, now known as Sailor, is so sweet and her personality is perfect to be a mom for us. MJ and her husband are gonna be a great addition to our guardian program. With Annie headed back home, it was time for the puppies to transition into the garage nursery. I had to make sure the temperature was perfect and do a quick cleanup. I haven't had puppies in there in so long. A lot changes when the puppies move to the garage nursery. Two big things happen. First off, they have to feed themselves. It might seem like common sense to us, but I have to show them that this bowl beside them is a soupy mixture of goat's milk and kibble. Their food for the next couple of weeks. The smell of the goat's milk will draw them over, but I start out by dipping their faces in it just to make sure they know. The best part is when they lick it off of each other or go all in and step into the bowl. The second change is no one is cleaning up after them. Well, let me correct that. Their mom isn't cleaning up after them anymore. I am. Mom dogs clean up their puppies' waste when they are inside our nurseries, which makes perfect sense. If they were in the wild, they would be making sure they had a clean den. No mom, whether it's human or dog, wants a dirty house. So starting out, I have four trays in their area to make sure we have the least amount of accidents as possible. Then as they improve and grow larger, I remove one tray at a time until we are down to just one. This teaches them the importance of separating their eating, sleeping, play, and potty area. And this helps teach them not to potty in the crate. My families appreciate this the most. These guys have only been out in the garage nursery for a couple of days and you can tell they're acclimating very quickly. They have a ton of energy and they all have names now. Let me see, oh, come back here. So this is Pink, I know this one. This is Miss Sailor. She is super sweet and I love her little face. She looks very golden retrievery and we decided that is a word. All right, who else we got? Uh, orange. Oh, this one's failing me. Hold on, let me check. I want to say it's Eliza, but I have to confirm. It is. All right, I got it right. This is Miss Eliza, and she is going all the way to Texas. But her little sweet apricot fur is just super cute. All right, who's making those barking? Oh, that's Sailor. All right, here's Miss Purple. That's Lucy. Her family is so sweet. They loved coming to puppy picking and she was by far their first choice. But she didn't think, they didn't think that they were gonna get her. So they were super excited that they did. Who else we got? Who's behind me? Ah, tee off. This is Miss Charlotte. She had an awesome time at puppy picking because her owner is a little girl, like maybe six, five, and she had such a sweet time playing with her. And when she actually knew that this one was hers, she was so happy. <laughs> All right, who's behind me? Here we go. Aha, a boy. This tan one, his name is Bo, and he was the one that the family couldn't come to puppy picking, but they did Zoom and they spent 45 minutes watching him on the screen. And when I told her which one was hers, she was ecstatic. So he is super, super cute. All right, let's look for our last one. That's tan. Ah, here he is. This is Mr. Green. He does not have a name yet, but that's okay. His family is so excited for him. That was definitely their first choice this weekend, but they have a little boy at home and he couldn't come to puppy picking. So they wanna make sure that when they take him home, that it is his dog. It's gonna be his family dog. And so they wanna wait so they can involve him in the name picking process. So these guys I think are finally tiring out. So I'm gonna let them have a nap.
We have so many different age groups in the household right now, and each litter is doing something unique. Charlie's litter of medium golden doodles are one week old. I am performing ENS with them, early neurological stimulation. It's where we do a variety of positions to cause stressful stimulations. They are getting much more tolerant of it, but still not loving the cold pack. These little white marks are so adorable, I can look past a little squirming. And also, don't worry, Coral lost her collar, so she is now silver. It didn't take me long to fill Charlie's list with families that are so excited to bring a puppy home this summer. I can't wait to go on this journey with them. Nothing has changed. We still have three picks to choose from, yellow, silver, and teal. Right beside Charlie's nursery, we have Oakley's puppies. These red mini golden doodles are two and a half weeks old and they are starting sound stimulation. Their eyes are barely open when they wake up, but oh my goodness, they are still so tiny. Some of them still almost fit in one hand. You can really tell they are gonna be very curly like Oakley and Nipsey, but their deep red color is so beautiful. I can't believe I still have one boy spot available. When I start out doing the sound stimulation, I use a small squeaker and see if I get any movement or budges. I watch for any signs of discomfort like moving away from the sound or extra whines so I can be reassuring and comfort them until they settle back down. Oakley is such a good mom. She is confident and knows her puppies are fine in their nursery. She loves going on walks with us again and playing with Bella outside. Penny's puppies have just been born, so I won't be doing ENS until one more day, but I'm placing collars on them to make sure I can weigh them daily and ensure they are all growing. I shouldn't have any difficulties with puppies gaining weight with only six of them. Penny had a really easy birth and took towards motherhood perfectly. Starting out with six puppies is a perfect size for her first litter. I was shocked that they came out this dark. Their beautiful golden color is so pretty, but I really thought I was gonna get some blonde apricot ones with Penny's color. Her sweet personality really shows while she's taking care of the puppies. She licks them gently and cleans them, but does so in such an easygoing manner. Penny's puppies are just so cute. They were born yesterday and she did so good. First time mom, her labor was so smooth, you could not have asked for better. And these six puppies are so sweet and so tiny. You know what, I wanna go show you the difference between Charlie's and these guys. Be right back. Now look at the difference in the size of these guys. Charlie's puppy, Miss Silver, is gonna be between 40 and 50 pounds. Penny's puppy, this little lime green girl, is only gonna be 15 to 25 pounds. There's just one week between them and Charlie's puppy is so much larger. And you can tell a huge difference in their coat types. Charlie's puppy is gonna be wavy and Penny's puppy, this one at least, is gonna be super curly. You can see all the texture and the S's in her fur. I think that Charlie's puppy is probably enjoying being in here, but I'm gonna get her back to her mom. Hopefully that's gonna clear up everybody's confusion on wavy versus curly. We get that all the time. And Penny's litter has a beautiful combination of both. Like for example, Miss Silver. She definitely is going to be a curly coat. And I love her look because she's unique in this litter. She's the only one that came out this apricot color and she's gonna look just like Penny. Let's see. And then we have a little girl, Miss Purple. The girls always pick out purple for the cute girls and they usually pick them out for the tiniest and she is definitely the tiniest. <laughs> All right. Let's see who else we got. Oh, here's one of the boys. So if I didn't say it already, she had four girls and two boys, and this is one of them. <laughs> he's gonna have a little combination coat, but most likely wavy. And I think he's gonna grow up and look just like dad, which is Nipsey. So Nipsey is our stud. He is one of our miniature poodles, and he's got that gorgeous red color coat. All right. This is Miss Lime Green, and you guys got to see her earlier. She has a really curly coat, maybe one of the curliest that we've ever had. I don't think I've ever had somebody come out with this amount of curl right off the bat. All right, who are we missing? Well, first I gotta write that one down. Miss Yellow, here she is. Oh, I love her too. She is also one of our smallest ones that we have. She has a beautiful wavy coat and she's just that golden color, which I think is really pretty. Reminds me of a golden retriever for sure. <laughs> the last puppy that we need is Miss Red. 
She is super cute and pretty much yellow's twin. I just love when that happens. She has that beautiful wavy texture and she's golden brown too. She's gonna make somebody very happy. All right, good job. Coming back, Penny. All right, now that I've got everybody settled and I can let Penny rest with her puppies, we're gonna go check on Bella Grace. The last couple of days, they are really starting to walk around and investigate the nursery. I love sitting in there and waiting for them to walk over to me and starting to see some personalities come out. It's so fun. I'm doing the vacuum sound with them. It's the most challenging sound we do because it's the loudest. I can definitely create a startle response. But when I turn the vacuum sound off and reassure them, I place a hand on their back or hold them, they relax immediately. Another way I can introduce the vacuum is doing it while they're nursing. It's a great opportunity to make a stressful sound, but they are right with mom so it doesn't bother them too much. It's best to ease into sounds instead of jumping right in. When our house has groupings of litters like this, some people ask, how in the world can I handle it? My answer is simple. I only get eight weeks with each puppy. Staying organized and helping create the most well-rounded puppy possible is so important to me. The families that our puppies go to are what keep me going. They get so excited and share their puppy updates with me when they take their puppy home. So as long as I keep that in mind and have JP's support, I am just fine. I love doing my job and if the groupings happen to be together like this, then that's okay. Our home is just filled with more joy and adorable puppies for those few weeks.